Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here with the new cars. Just picked up um, for the rolling stock. Just grabbed a couple of the new box cars. Going to try to actually run some tools out today. First load for those. Trying to get some of the some of the final industries fired up and running. Definitely need to make some more money at this point honestly getting a little low so we need to be making some money so opening everything up so that it's available and then trying to um, push some of the heavier money making loads at a certain point we still need oil uh, tankers for stock and we need some new locomotives too as you can see we're ending up with a pretty good string onto the one loco Man, I don't know. I think I'm gonna maybe keep going at the few mixed loads, maybe with small the smaller cars. I'm not sure. This setup's kind of fun to run. You can just kind of pick stuff up and stop and drop and whatever wherever you go. In fact, this load we should have had some sort of wood on here going out here, but just kind of picked up the box cars and wanted to get that going. Still haven't straightened out these cars from when they came disconnected that's just kind of how they got thrown back on but I don't know kind of keeps the train mixed up looking so having some fun doing that much easier to run mixed loads with the um, small cars than it was the the large rolling stock at least in my opinion though I still say loading these small cars makes it almost you know so close to unusable, it's not even funny. I mean, that is really my my take on these small cars. Is they're convenient, they're nice to have as far as, you know, especially early game type stuff and getting things moving. It's nice to have because it really is much easier to jump from industry to industry, just adding these. Um, much more cost effective to get things started, but the loading process on them is an absolute is my take on them. Actually, it's starting to get to be a decent sized train now. Probably switch this one over to the Ruby Basin as we add a few more cars. I'm thinking, uh, I'll add a few more. Turn it over to the Ruby. Ruby should be able to pull this quite a bit more yet. So, we just have to see how it goes. Money and opening up industries for this thing. that switch on the way back. Haven't really done my like, loads with these little box cars yet, so I yeah, loaded them. I'll have to pick up only loaded them even once for the test when we first got them. Brand new This turn is by far the sharpest thing we got going on anywhere, but it seems to work. Haven't had any derailment issues there. Did turn around and go up and break up the long spline where we had that derail issue um, the other day, just so that that's not a 
problem going forward. It was just the spline was too long. It wasn't like it was too curved or anything else, just with the bounce in the long splines being pretty bad that caused it to derail. All right, let's get that started. Open up the doze. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll let these get going. Hopefully they don't take too long. I suppose we could probably load it a little faster. We'll just spin them. Get that going. It's too bad the paint doesn't match better. That's a little pink compared to the 48, that's for sure. Not exactly sure what tools pay, I gotta be honest. I can't remember what they all pay all the time, so. But I'm pretty sure they're worth dropping off. Wait a minute, where'd it go? We gotta make sure these go in there. Alright, there we go. <laughs> They're losing them. I don't know how much they're worth, but I'm pretty sure they're worth enough. We don't want to lose them. We don't have tons of them, that's for sure. Not yet, anyway. LACs are better than loading the old, what, 32 in the big box cars, so I'll take this over that, I guess. That's one benefit to these box cars. And these are probably the best ones to load because it's just a single crane. in there. That's all we care. Load up 12. Oh, covers up the name. That's the toolbox. Huh. Figure that. That's cool. I feel like the train's getting long enough. Like it looks like a legit train now at this point. I just don't know how well the 48's gonna turn around and pull it up when that, even with empty cars or not, I don't know how well the 48's gonna get that thing up some of the steeper grades because it was barely getting it done before. So I think adding any more cars is just gonna make it too much, which means the Ruby Basin's gonna probably have to take this run and then we'll have to move the 48 over to something else. And I don't think it's gonna handle, well, maybe it can handle pulling those flats that the ruby basin's hooked up to. I have to just see if we can jumble. Jungle. Jungle. <laughs> jumble and juggle around the uh, locomotives in the stock and see what we can do for keeping that all lined up. I don't want to really break up this big mixed train either. I like the idea of having like one mixed train that can drop off some of everything. I think the only thing this thing can haul now is... No, we still don't have flats, so whatever. We might take a couple of these spike cars out of there, because we have like eight of those in there, which is maybe too many for the mixed trade. And then maybe we can just change them out. Like if we pull... I don't know. Four of those off of there. Alright, that's fully loaded. So close that up and get these on their way. No steam. Well, we got steam. We just don't have fire. No, oh, give me the firebox. It's good enough. Threw one under the 
No worries, Bill. <coughs> All right, 48, moving down the rail. Switch to watch for you know, just going absolutely crazy. I'm not exactly sure where that switch is. Well, yeah, I gotta take out that. station Heepo man Heepo This something's got to have the brakes on there is no way that this locomotive is stopping like that You still got no brakes no, and I know I checked the car, so I know there's... What? That's just insane. Hmm. It certainly feels like something's got the brakes on. Oh, we're running out of boiler pressure. That's why. It's building back up, but I didn't get that wooden it fast, so that's why it feels like we got brakes on. Well, oh, whatever. We made it to the destination. That's all that matters. So, worked out good. Open those up. Let's see what these do actually pay if they're worth dropping off in this small group or what. A little over a thousand there to get it going. Yeah, okay, so they pretty much paid they paid themselves back in one trip anyway. So that's cool. A little over seventeen hundred bucks. Little box car is getting it done. Makes it look a little I don't know. I like the way they look. And at least now, you know, only dropping off the twenty four you can actually run them a little more often than the old ones because they used to be kinda like a one and done for a long time. Now at least we can throw them in there and deliver a few. Do need some uh, beams out here, obviously, is going to be the next thing. Should have had those on this train. And then we'd actually be turning out some oil. But we'll be getting there coming up. So I think with that, we're going to call that one a win. There are the little tool... Tool, I was going to say tool trolleys, but <laughs> tool boxes. There they are, little box cars in action. So thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.